Joe, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Bad Choice Noah, with Eric. And, no. and today we'll be showing the most beautiful colubrids, in Dude, our opinion. The beauty. Beauties. And the beast. Eric's the beast on the <laughs> butte, you know? <laughs> so, so the first one we're going to show today is the rhino rat. Look, Look at, at this dude. dude. Look at These things are awesome. Oh my god. It's crazy. So you guys already know, we've, I think we've probably shown this before, but again, just showing the, how crazy looking they are. Greenish, bluish, and uh, they got that really cool I love that rhino blue point. kind of uh, belly, you know, they got. I know, it's so cool. Pretty sweet. They just look. I'm gonna show the belly real quick because the blue. It's just. It's. It's. It's crazy. beautiful. It's, it's a crazy it's looking. It's absolutely snake. beautiful. Let's get a look at that. You can just see the blue tints. Obviously. <laughs> What's going on there, buddy? My glasses off. <laughs> yeah. Very friendly. Yeah. Very very friendly. So um yeah that's just the. Just the first one we're going through is the rhino rat. Very cool colors are just they 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 mix very well. So um. First on the list, Rhino Rat. Second up, this is an Oreo Pueblin, am I correct? Yep, Oreo Pueblin. Uh, another just, it, it's, I don't know the price on this one. Again, probably 100. Listen, I can't say I mean, now. Can't, they're probably a grand a piece. Got, it all. got me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think they're fairly inexpensive. Yeah, okay, buddy. Salt, okay, buddy. But, they're uh, probably yeah. $50,000. <laughs> fairly inexpensive. <laughs> So um, they're called Oreo for obviously the one reason. They're the same yeah. color as Oreos. They got the cream in the middle and the cookie on the outside. You, you know, know and if you look very closely, it's got a little bit of red coloration here, like which it would usually have is the red, right, black, and on the uh, belly. yellow or white there on the belly right. and in between the scales. Just a really beautiful snake. And once they, you know, you get them out and they move around for a second, they tame right down and. They kind of slow down a little bit because as you've seen in yeah. the beginning there, they're all over the place. Right after they musk, yeah. So, yeah, they do like to musk. The babies will musk and flick their tails. <laughs> right in your mouth. Right in your mouth. Right Perfect. In your mouth, so. Next one up, Oreo Pueblin. Number three on the list, Cheeto Dust, Scales Texas Red. <laughs> Man, this is a crazy one. I don't know why Scales Texas Red, like, they feel so cool. Dude, like, they obviously, feel such very a weird strange. thing. It's so weird. It's like a tire. It really is like a tire. It's, or it's something. You got to watch it's, this guy. Down uh, he'll bite you. He'll bite you. I saw that. I okay, saw that. He was coming for me. He's never gave um, you the F. The, also, the cool thing about Scales Texas Red, they come in so many different um, colorways or whatever yeah, you want to call Look it. Look at this. This patterns. wasn't really anything special. It right. was just kind of. Uh, a monomaly. Yeah, yeah like right. Anomaly or whatever. Yeah. Whatever, yeah, we know what that Fancy word means. Words. Fancy just words. the pattern's different every time. Exactly. That's what it means. Um, so. Super cool scale sex strat. The, uh, these guys are kind of expensive, though. These, I mean, these ones they, are a little more on the pricey side. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I think I've seen them here on the VHP website. They range from two fifty to four fifty a piece. Yeah. But uh, for, for what you get, it's definitely worth it. It's cool, for sure. Uh, you know, you, Look at that. That you get a pair so of these suckers. Cool. Oh, it's so cool. And you know, they are scaleless, but they do kind of randomly have some little scales bumps, yeah. Yeah, here and there. So orange. I'm taking this Cheeto one. Cheeto does. Oh. Yeah, it's super cool. <laughs> All right, that was number three, scaleless Texas Reds. Like we said, there's a bunch of different colorways, but this one is just a, a really cool one. All right, number four oh. is a sunbeam. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Almost had to hit him. Literally didn't even know we had this thing till yesterday when Eric brought it up to us and when he showed show me it. Whoa, dude, what is that? Is that a I strike? Don't, I don't like him. I don't like it. That is the craziest strike I've ever seen. It's but, really nasty. It's, you hear the little thing? It's a sigh. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't even know this was like a thing till yesterday, honestly. And look at that. It's just like the rainbow boas in a way where it has that shine on it. It's super cool. It's like um, when you see like an oil spill or something in yeah, the sun. Yeah, it really is. It's uh, it's 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 crazy. There's like I don't even know. Um, these guys like stay under the ground most of the time. So if you got them in your cage, you won't really see them you unless really you take them it. out. Exactly. But it's, it's a very interesting snake. Okay. Because yeah. it kind of looks like a platypus. Right. Every time I pull this thing out, I think Italian food. At the, what? It's musk. It smells like garlic. Okay. It smells most like garlic. Are I'm. Do you like it? Garlic bread. It's kind. It smells pretty good. Dude, that's weird. That's <laughs> weird. It's very I don't think of garlic when I get musk done. Dude. No, this one smells like garlic. Can you smell the aroma a little bit? Dude, wait, what? You're yeah. you're right. What the it heck? It smells like garlic. 
What? You know what? You get you one of these, you squeeze this little guy over some bread. Some bread. And, uh, you know, that's a date. That's a date. <laughs> Number four. Oh, it's really strong, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's a nice garlic Ooh. aroma. Uh, number four, the sunbeam. It's overpowering a little bit. I'm sorry. To... <laughs> number five, albino tangerine Honduran. Now, this guy reminds me of Christmas because you'll just see. Watch this. Bang. Dude, whoa! That was awesome. Yeah, they can really kick it. They got that launch fast. on them. But, dude, that candy cane paint. That sounds like a Riff Raff song. <laughs> yeah, it really does. It really does. <laughs> God, these things are so cool, man. And you can they obviously are. tell, like, look how vibrant and bright the yeah, color is. Yeah, it's amazing. If I'm not mistaken, your dad uh, and Lori were some of the first people to have the albino Hondurans. I mean, it could possibly yeah, be. Yeah, I think it's Hondurans, not Nelson. So, I believe that's... <sighs> You know, you can fact check me. That's about 98% sure. Yeah. You know, believe it or not, these guys can come in quite a variety too. I have a uh, hypo tangerine at home and it looks completely different. More of an orange mm -hmm. and uh, lighter red. So you can get a lot of different uh, color varieties out of these yeah, guys. This sure. one is definitely a nice example. Yeah. I mean, that it's, is beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, it's crazy looking, man. I love his head too with that little white patch yeah, in the middle. Yeah, it's got that cool little white mask like on the, yeah. see on the huskies he's pretty cool so number five albino tangerine honduran candy cane style candy cane. number six on the list is an anaconda hog nose that is a tongue twister dude that is the yeah, i can't say that, say that fast, once you know but let's get a look at this obviously i believe it's called the anaconda because it's got them circles on it just like an anaconda would. yep the patterning um, and everything yeah. actually and funny enough a super anaconda or super conda they call it has mm -hmm. no patterning at all really so i think cool. it's a little bit of reduced patterning on there and the uh kind of the color morph too a little just bit just so. a really light brown kind of almost grayish with a really dark belly yeah look at this belly is really cool it's like yeah, just midnight it's black man super cool and um some people the weird thing about hog noses is some people when they get bit it they actually it's like almost get like envenomated yeah no they it's they weird. are rear fang venomous so if you're thinking about getting one of these just think to yourself am i allergic to bee stings yeah. am i allergic to certain things and it's not like they can easily envenomate you they have to really chew right so they could just bite you and nothing happens right eight times out of ten i pull these guys out to clean them or feed them whatever and they'll just bump you they'll hiss they'll bump you with their head acting like they're trying to right. bite they're just big bluffers anaconda hog nose is number six uh it's on to the next one number seven up on the list a creamsicle scaleless corn snake get a look at this it doesn't look real the white is literally just popping on this guy. That is amazing. All I can think was when I seen this thing, it looks like an alien. Yeah, okay, I know. It, it does. It does. Oh, they are absolutely amazing. I don't know if they're more scaleless than a Texas scaleless, but it definitely know. doesn't have yeah. any anything on there. It's really clean. That, Look at the pattern on this yeah, guy, too. Pattern. You know, it's... Uh, it's crazy. It is crazy. Once you get the scales, it's weird to think it's yeah. underneath the scales. Like, right. that pattern is underneath yeah. the scales. Sort of like when someone has a head tattoo, they let their hair grow out, you shave it, and you're like, what you got going on under there? You know what I mean? That's a weird analogy. That is a weird analogy. <laughs> it's the best I <laughs> But again, number seven is the creamsicle freaking corn snake. So, so cool. Number eight, an albino Chinese beauty snake. Yeah, we're not gonna get it, but basically their eyes are like humans. They got the little pupil. Dude, Let's they're beautiful. They got that nice little stripe right here. I don't know. It's just a very, very cool, almost marble countertop yeah. kind of look to it. Unique. It's very unique. And it's intimidating when it looks at you. Because I can't get the eyes on camera because he's moving around too much. But he's got these weird little eyes that just stare at you with the pupil in them and stuff. It's super weird. but it peers into your soul. Very cool snake. Um, yeah, it's just a really pretty animal. So, uh, number eight, albino chew, chewy chewy badooty. <laughs> got it <laughs> number nine is the gray banded snake like is there any other name for it is it just gray i think banded? it's a like a gray band king snake they got the gray bands in between the orange obviously that sounds dumb but that's the way they <laughs> name that but that's what you got 
man, it's got like, these are kind of orangish red stripes right here um, in between. Oh, God, man, this thing was, looks crazy. I like how there's so many different like styles or there really to is. like these animals. It's like, it. yeah. it's, it's really cool. That's why I like uh, just picking out a couple and showing them to you guys because there's so many to uh, pick and choose from. So it's really cool, but man. They almost have a different kind of shape, face, and head, don't they? Than like a traditional like king snake, you know what I mean? Like they just looks like just a completely different animal. Yeah, their eyes are a little big. Yeah, it's weird. A little short, kind of stubby face. Yeah, man, really cool animal. Really beautiful. Number nine favorites, for sure. Gray banded. All right, last <laughs> last up is the mangrove. He got his 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 big old snake hook here because these guys will take you down. They'll kill you, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding, they won't. I wish I had a long sleeve on. I wanted to do a little pirate hook. Oh my God, I don't no. know if it's legal. You <laughs> just want to be careful with these guys. Yeah, I don't want to get too close, but. I'll just kind of put it on the ground here. And uh, don't get me bit. Yeah, yeah. What's funny is, is you can pan up to my finger. The problem is, is they hold on to you. So even the bigger ones downstairs, you think you can get away with them, they'll just turn around and crank you one. So you got to be really careful. It's funny how they like to. Uh, pull Whoa, on you. dude, why yeah. are you pushing it towards me? Oh, <laughs> you fucker. Bro, <laughs> 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 they, really, they really do like to put on a show. and uh, This know. is a baby. Like, yeah. I don't know. How old oh, is this yeah. guy? You know what? I think this one's probably close to a year old or maybe a little over a year old. They're pretty small when they're born. So, uh, definitely coming up and. Uh, Coming up in the collection there, but beautiful, I really, beautiful snake. Yeah, you can I know. see how far of a striking distance it has. <laughs> I know it's so little, it's, but it's unreal. You know, um, this is a uh, Wiz Khalifa's favorite uh, animal, oh, black and yellow, black, black and, and yellow, yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> but <laughs> very cool, man. This is, I don't even know. This is cool. You know? I don't know how I'm gonna get it back in the dang uh, cage here. <laughs> you got a hook, man. I don't you got know. this. But you can, oh man, they also call these like, uh, they're in like the cat-eyed snake family. Right. And uh, once they get bigger, they got those big old doe eyes looking at you. What a, what a beautiful snake. So that was the 10 most <gasps> beautiful colubrids that we have at the shop. That That's not really the 10 most. It's just what I chose for the day. I mean, obviously. There's thousands of Yeah, we, we have so many here, it's hard. But <laughs> like I say in all these videos, it's just like what we choose or whatever for this one. So uh, this was just a little bit of show and tell of some of the cooler snakes that we have around here. Some of the cool patterns, variations, and stuff along those lines. So uh, make sure you follow, in, uh, follow him on Insta. Yeah, do you mind if I say just thanks, everyone, for uh, giving me a follow on there. I appreciate that. Thank you. For sure. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different. It wasn't really too much. But, you know, I just really wanted to show off some cool stuff for the day um, uh, on this weekend. So hope you guys have a good weekend. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.